guys, today this video is going to show you how to make this school bus for my school series. These tools are the same design, just the window colors I use different. This is jelly white, and this one I use jelly blue for the window. And today I'm going to make this one. For this project, we're going to set our room as a little V here, and keep your red arrows pointed away from you. First, we're going to make its tile. For the tile, we're going to use two black bands, start from first, on the center to first, on your left, and two, first on your left to second on the center. And we're going to repeat this step and do it on your right. Two bands and two bands. Now we're going to add this part on the center. For that, I'm going to take one single white band, twist two, three times. So you will see four rings here. And take one single black band, bring it through here, like this. And we're going to place right here, on the first one on your right, to first one on your left. And we're going to keep these white bands on the center. And pull this side, twist, like this. And then bring it over to the other side. So this is one single band, make a two loops. And you're going to keep the white part on the center. Now we're going to take one single band, twist two times. You'll see three rings here. And press right here as a cap band. Now we're going to rotate our loom and start looping. We're going to reach under the cap band Find the first two and hook it to your left. And then find the bottom two, hook it to your right. And find the bottom two, hook it to the last one on the center. And this side, find the bottom two, hook it to the center here. And then you're going to put your hook through. We're going to take one single yellow or whichever color you're going to use for your bus. And then you put both ends in here, grab one end to the others. So you will tie a knot here. And now it's time to take it out. We're going to need two of these. So pause your videos and make another one. I'll see you when you're done. Now we're going to make the top part of this bus the same. We're going to set our room as a little V here and keep your red arrows pointing away from you. For that part, I'm going to take two yellow, start from first to second on your left, and two from second to third on your left. And we're going to do this for 10 times. So this is three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now we're going to do the center part. Take two yellow bands, start from first to second on the center, and two of window color. I use jelly blue today. If you don't have blue, you can use black or white or jelly white. And press right here, second to third on the center. And next, two of bus color and two. And next one is window color, two. Window color, two. Bus color. And window color and window and bus color. And now we're going to press horizontal band. We're going to take one single, I use yellow, place right here, from first on your left to first on your right. And the next, I'm going to use jelly white and go all the way to here. And next, I'm going to use jelly white. And make an upside down triangle here. Jerry Y, upside down triangle. 
upside down triangle upside down triangle and upside down triangle Upside down triangle. For the last one, I'm going to take two bands, place right here, upside down triangle, and for the last one, I'm going to bring it here, inside here. And this is what it should look like. Now we're going to rotate our loom and start looping. Grab the bottom two. Hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two. Hook it to the next one. Bottom two. Hook it to the next one. And we're going to continue to do this until the end of the loom here. Now we're going to come back here and do the one in the center. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And the same thing, we're going to do all the way to the last one here. Make sure you loop all of them. And when you're done here, we're going to take one single yellow band and you grab it through here, put both ends on your hook, grab one end through the others and tie a knot here and then do the same thing on your right, put your hook through, pull it, put both ends on, grab one end through the others and tie a knot here on the end. So this is our secure band. Now we're ready to pull it out. For this part, while you pull it, be careful. You want to keep this one, stay on this side. So we're going to slowly pull it out from here. For the last one here, you want to hold on to the last one so it won't pop up because we want to keep all this on this side. And you can pull this horizontal band out because we're going to use this to attach to the second part. Now we're going to make the second part of the body. The same start with red arrows point away from you. And use two bands throughout this part. Start from first to second on your left and second to third on your left. You're going to feel this double band all the way to the end of the room here. And we're going to do the same thing on the center. This is two bands and fill in all the way to the end of the room here.
Now for the rest, it's a little bit different than these two. So we're going to use two bands. Start from first to second on your right. And two bands from second to third. And next one. Next one, I'm going to use two bands. Going from third on the center to third on your right. And next, we're going to skip one and go this one. And the same, going from center to your right. And then, two bands, continue on. And do it for three times. Two bands. And two bands. Now, the same thing like here. We're going to go from the center here and to your right. And we're going to skip one and do the same thing on this side. And then continue on here. Two bands and two bands. And for the last one, it's here. I'm going to put different colors. For this part, this is kind of like a tail light and the bumper. So I'm going to use light gray. You can use black or different colors if you don't have light gray. So I'm going to take two bands and press right here. And next, I'm going to use I'm going to take one single Y. This is like light. And then I'm going to twist one, two, three. So you will see four rings here. I'm going to take one more gray band and bring this in here. And press right here on top of it. Now we're going to attach the tires in this hole and here. So for the tire, one side has Y and the other, this side doesn't. So we're going to face down. The Y part is going to face down like this. We're going to release our secure band. Careful, hold on to it so you won't get loose. And now we're going to press this tire right here. And we're going to do the same thing and press right here. Remember the white part face down. Release this secure band. And then we're going to press right here. For this tire, we press right here in between this hole and then this one in between this hole on the center. Now we're going to press horizontal band. For this one, I'm going to use yellow band for horizontal band. From first on your right to first on your left. And make an upside down triangle. Now we're going to take one single band, twist only one time. You'll see two rings here. And press right here. And pull in here. From here to here. Then I'm going to take one single band, twist one time. You'll see two rings here. And press right here. Pull it to your left. And next, I'm going to take one single band, make an upside down triangle. One single band, upside down triangle. And I'm going to take one single band, twist one time. You'll see two rings here. And press right here. It's horizontal band. From here to here. And take one single band, twist one time, and press right here. And take one single band, make an upside down triangle. One single band, upside down triangle. For the last one, I'm going to use two. Press right here, upside down triangle. And after you press in here, I'm going to grab it here, put it inside here. So for the last one, it's going to look like this. And this is what it should look like. 
Now we're going to load the loom and start looping. So for this one, we're only going to loop these two loads first to this one later. So grab all three, hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And bottom two. This one, we're going to hook it to the center here because this is where this band comes from. And now we're going to come back here, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And this one is a little bit different than other projects. So you might want to follow me along. And grab this two. Hook it to your left here. These two bands is where it come from. That's why we want to hook it back to here. And now grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Stay inside horizontal band. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And bottom two. These two bands come from here. So we're going to hook it back here like this. And we're going to come back here, continue on here on the center where we left off. And make sure you grab all of them. Do not skip any of this in here. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. Now we're going to look for these two bands and we're going to hook it back here. So when you find it, you can tell it's from here. And now we're going to finish up here. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. And then grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. And we're going to come back here, finish up here. Remember to come back here and finish up here. Make sure you loop all the bands. This part could be a little confusing. So after you're done, we want to double check. You need to see all the teardrops on each one of them. If you didn't see this, that means you, you didn't loop the band, then you had to redo it. Or otherwise, after you pull it out, everything will fall in apart. So I got all mine. And now for the last one, we want to push all the band down because we want to attach the other piece to it before we loop the band. So make sure you keep all the bands down like this. Now we're going to take this piece, make sure the secure bands to this way. So we're going to take two, first two, attach to the first two peg, and then second one, attach to the second, third, attach to the third. So we don't want to stretch this too much, so we're going to loop the band along the way, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one, and now we can release the band here, only the part that you already loop. And so that we only do that because that way you won't stretch this part too much. For this part, we already loop it. It's okay to take it off. And now we're going to attach the next one to here. And then loop the band, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. And then we can release this part. Remember only the part that you already loop and keep all the band down. So now this part is closer. So just take the next one. Make sure you don't skip any. And then after you press in, and then you grab the bottom two. You stay inside this band that you hook to it. 
That's kind of like a horizontal band that connect two pieces together. So you need to stay inside. Inside this horizontal band. It's jelly white, so it's hard to see, but make sure you do that. And then grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. And we can release this part. And the same, grab the next one. Attach to here on the side. Grab the next one. Attach to it. And then stay inside that jerry Y horizontal pen. And grab the bottom two. Hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two. Hook it to the next one. Okay, and we got some more to do. Okay, next one. Grab the next one and hook it to it. Grab the next one. And now the same. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. And now take this part off. Okay. We got one more and hook it to here. Got the bottom two, bottom two, and no more. So this one will be just bottom two and hook it to the next one. And now now we're going to take one single band and use it as a secure band. Grab it through and grab one end through the others. Pull it so you tighten a knot here. Pull it. Grab one end through the others and pull it. And now it's time to take it out. And this is our bus. So after we pull it out, it's kind of messy, but we can fix it a little bit and because we stretch a lot so we wanted to push it back in a little bit so you look nicer okay now we're gonna hide this secure band I'm gonna come back here and put your hook through somewhere close by like this and pull this secure band through tuck it underneath that way you will hold it for us so you won't see it from the front that will look nice and neat. And do the same thing for all five of them. Just grab it through, tuck it underneath. Put your hook through somewhere across by. Grab it through. And this is our base body of the bus. And now we're gonna do some little touch on it to make it look more like it. So for this part, I'm gonna add a mirror here. For the mirror, I'm gonna take one light gray, twist, one, two, three. So you see four rings here. And take one single band, bring it in here like this. Now we're gonna take, put both ends in here and grab one end through the others and tie it like this. And now we're gonna come back here and you find a spot that you wanna put a mirror in. I'm gonna place right here. So I'm gonna come to the other side and put your hook through 
from one side to the others and you grab this part and grab it through like this and now we're going to press this part you can use your hand now we're going to bring this part and rub it around and this will be his mirror now we're going to put a door in here but if you don't want door because on the other side of the box you cannot see the door so I'm going to add a door right here but you don't have to for the door the same we're going to come to the other side and put your hook through and grab it through here you can just leave it like this and we're going to come to the next stall right next to it actually it's just any spot that's okay and you just come this end and grab it through like this grab it through this is the same technique we use for the coca-cola bottle this is just a decoration for the bus you don't have to do this part if you have hard time doing it and then we're gonna do this for one more time on top of here you can use secret to create on the other side that way it won't come out if you wanna play around with it do like this but for me it's just, I just want it to stay there so I'm not gonna use secret and the same thing just grab it through so that would look like this I'm going to do the same thing and next to it that will be kind of like a window on the door the glass part on the door then the same just grab the other end in here now we got one more press one next to this one Grab it through and this is the decoration for the door and now we're going to put a stop sign here usually stop, school bus has stop sign for the stop sign I'm going to use red to work as a stop sign I'm going to put on the side here the same put your hook through from the back of it like this and put the red bands here and just grab it to the other side and then on the next one put your hook through and the same grab the other end through like this so that would be the stop side now we're gonna put a little headlight and bumper here for the headlight I'm gonna use white band twist three times so you will see four rings here and take a one light gray bring this light through and the same we're going to put both ends on your hook and grab one end through the others and tie a knot like this and now we're going to put your hook through the last one and put this part on your hook and grab it through like this and then we're going to bring this and then tie it over here that way you will keep us keep it stay there and this will be our head eye or bumper now we're going to put these two black lines so for that part I'm going to take one single black band and you cut it that way you make it longer like this so I'm just gonna place right here like this and then we're gonna grab this through the hole like this and you hold on to here one side then you grab the other side all the way through like this and now you can pull it and then do the same thing on the other end you can put your hook through 
and then grab this end through it and we want to pull it all the way the loose end and that's the black line on the bus. You can do just one, or if you want to do two, just repeat this step and do the one down below. I'm gonna take another one, cut it, and do the same thing like we did last time. Put your hook through all the way and grab this pen and grab this pen all the way through. And we're gonna keep one end, so you hold on to one end and you pull the other end through it. Like this. We come back to the front. You pull it. And when you do the other side, you want to pull on this side. Hold on to it so you won't come off. The same. Put your hook through. And then grab this part through it. And that's it. Here's our school pass. If you like this video, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. See you next time.